This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Monday, July 13th, 2020. I want to take a moment at the beginning of this week to provide just a, a quick update on where we are in the COVID-19 pandemic here in Lincoln, as best we can tell. Over the last 10 days, we've seen cases here in Lincoln rise. On Friday, the Lincoln-Lancaster County Department of Health raised the COVID-19 level of risk from moderate to high. This goes from yellow to orange on their dial. That triggers new recommendations, but not yet mandatory shutdowns. So I just want to be very clear on this. Our faith calls us to save and preserve life. This is not just a theoretical exercise for us, but a very, very practical one right now. What that means is this, practicing social distancing, staying at home when you can, and above all, wearing a mask while you are in public is, is not just a thing that we do because the health department says that we should. It is what we do because our deepest moral commitments require, require, that we help each other to survive. I know you're doing this. I know it because I see it on social media. I see it in comments on these videos that I put up every day. I see it when I bump into you walking around the neighborhood. I know, <laughs> I know that I am preaching to the choir right now. But every once in a while, the choir needs to hear a sermon to hear that they're doing the right thing, staying the course. Because this is really hard. Pandemics are really hard. Masks are easier to find now than they were three months ago, but the sense of isolation in the world right now is very real. So if you need a mask, let us know. If you're struggling with the isolation of the pandemic, let us know. These are things that the church is here to help with. We get through this together. All of us need all of us to make it. That's. Reverend Teresa Soto wrote that a couple years ago, but it is one of the finest encapsulations of what our theology is, and it is more needed in this moment. All of us need all of us to make it. So the next couple weeks are going to be critical. Here's what the mayor said on Friday. Lincoln, this is our wake-up call. This is our opportunity to turn things around so that we don't need to go back to additional restrictions on how we live. Encourage each other to wear face coverings and keep a safe distance from others. Let each other know how important that is right now. The actions we take today will impact what school looks like in the fall, how easy it will be to find a job, when concerts come back, and how many friends and family members get sick. Pandemics are not morality contests. It is very possible to do everything right and still get sick. But getting through a pandemic, whether it's this one or any of the historical accounts we have, is not a question of individual morality, but of collective action. If we all work to reduce our risk of spreading the virus by 20%, that doesn't mean that we're not individually at risk. But what it does mean is that we are closer, collectively, to the end of the pandemic. And, and I know this pandemic has gotten politicized and polarized in ways that are deeply unhelpful for public health, and that make this question of collective action a really complicated one. But the way we participate in collective action as individuals is by listening to the advice of experts and saying, we're going to be careful right now because you're telling us to. There's a lot to think about for planning purposes. Lincoln Public Schools has released a plan for how they'll hold classes in the fall. It's tied directly to the health department's level of risk. The list of questions that we don't know for the church is probably longer than the list of questions that we do have an answer for. But we're going to continue to make the best decisions we have in light of the best information we can gather, putting the health and safety of our members first. 
Unitarian Universalism is concerned with preserving life and listens to evidence. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we've been doing since March, and that's what we're going to do as long as this pandemic lasts and for generations after that. So we'll have more um, this week on what we're pondering, on the questions that we're asking as we plan for the coming year. Um, I promise I will be more funny and less the sky is falling in later updates. But for right now, it's really important to say this. Be safe, be responsible, and wear a mask. We'll figure the rest out together. <laughs>